Oh my goodness. It's like what, 2.15, 2.30 on a Friday afternoon. And here I am enjoying the outdoors, loving this life. I'm gonna wait a few minutes, see if anyone hops on live here. I just wanted to say hi, I'm super excited for this. If you haven't been following my page long, I am a stay-at-home mom of three boys, and like literally I have built a business around health and fitness, like loving myself and changing my life every step of the way. So I know this is like probably a random time to go live, but as a stay-at-home mom, it's what works for me. I've got two kids who are napping. That was fun trying to get them down for a nap, but I have them napping and I thought, okay, let's go, go live, push play, like let's do this thing or it's never gonna happen. Cause if you know me or if you don't know me, I'm a huge introvert. Like talking to people is so outside my comfort zone, but I must say I am growing into overcoming that because even though it's who I was, it doesn't have to be who I am in the future. And that kind of leads me into the topic that I want to talk about today. Today, I want to talk to you guys about change. Because in my business, so many people want change, but they don't know where to start. Or they have an overwhelming like sense of, oh, what do I even do with this? Like, where do I even go? How does change happen? And so that's why I want to hop on here and just share some of my heart about that topic in general. Change? Change is scary, and I think that's the problem. Everybody looks at change as if it's this terrifying thing, as if if change happens, the whole world is gonna crumble out from underneath you. But the thing is, change is happen happening regardless. Change is gonna happen today, tomorrow, the next day, and the next day. Every single day, every experience we have, everything in our life that we go through, it is change, and every single day, it alters and it, you know, we grow in some, some way or another. Our kids grow up, you know, the, the leaves fall, they blossom, like change is happening all around us every single day. And the problem with it is we look at it as it's something scary, whether that has to do with your health and fitness, whether that has to do with a job situation, whether it has to do with a relationship, whether it has to do with your children, like change is happening. And the thing that makes it scary is that you can't control it. But I'm right here to wave that flag. Like, I'm waving the bullshit flag. Like, yes, you can't control change. But yes, you can control change. There are things in your life that you can control. And I don't need you to control everything. I don't need you to be like, change is going to happen the way I say, or it's just never happening. We know that's not true. We know it's happening whether we are the ones in control or not. So what we need to change is our mindset around how change comes to us. We look at it as it's a bad thing. We look at it as it's shaking everything up. You know, it's, it's making things uncomfortable. Well, good. You should be uncomfortable every single day of your life. If you're not uncomfortably changing to become a better you, well, then something's not right. Sitting in a comfort zone will get you nowhere, friend. Literally. I mean, we could all chill on the couch, watch Netflix all day long, but what's, how is that actually blessing us? It's the changes that we make in our day-to-day -day life that truly are gonna get us to where we wanna be in the future. If nothing changes, nothing changes. And could you imagine a life where you're stuck this, this age, this look, this style, this every single day, Groundhog Day, over and over and over and over and over again? Because when we sit about and think about like, oh, but I don't want anything to change. So you just want to be stuck in this one moment right here. Well, no, that's not true. We do want it to change, but we want it to be on our terms. We want it to be something that we're looking forward to, something that we say, and that's not how this happens. What we have to do instead is embrace the change. We have to be okay with change, but we have to be willing to work hard to change and alter it to where we want it to go. And that's the thing. So many people would rather sit in fear instead of stand up and say, okay, change, you're coming at me. I'm coming too. And I'm going to be the driver here. Sit next to me and let's make this happen. And that is what will change your life for the better. Is when you, instead of sitting in fear saying, I'm just going to sit here and I'm just going to try to make life be as normal as possible. And I'm just going to pretend like it isn't happening. You're going to feel overwhelmed. You're going to feel anxious. You're going to feel alone. You're going to feel all the negative effects of that change. Whereas if you're like, girl, life's changing. I'm going to be the one in control. 
that's when you can look at life in a different point of view. That's when you can literally get on and be like, okay, if it's changing, we're going to go this direction and this is where I'm saying we're going. So, so many people sit around and they're like, okay, well, I want things to change. I want to lose 20 pounds or I want a nicer house or I want to pay off my debt or I want to go to school or whatever you want to change. I want that. So I'm just going to pray on it and I'm just going to wait. And I'm just going to hang out here until life hands me whatever it is I want. Newsflash, friend. That's not how this works. Life's not just going to magically hand you everything you want. You're going to have surprises. You're going to have things that happen that that genuinely aren't what you had planned. You're going to have things that get in the way. It's bound to happen. So instead, you have to step into that action. You have to be willing to say like, okay, if I want to lose 20 pounds, what am I going to do to make it happen? If I want to be debt free, what am I going to do to make it happen? If I want to have a kid, what am I going to do to make it happen? Or let's, let's flip it. You're going to school and things are crazy. Okay, I want this degree. How am I going to make it happen? Oh my goodness, surprise baby. What am I going to do to make my situation better? Oh my goodness, my house caught on fire. Okay, what am I going to do to better my situation? How am I going to take control of this and make it a good thing? We worry so much about what we can't control instead of looking at, okay, let's control the controllable and run with that. Let's see what we can do and use that to our benefit. We want to look instead at the weaknesses, at the negatives, at the things that literally bring us down versus stepping into what we can become. So if you have big goals, if you have big dreams, if you have something that you want to change, stop waiting for life to make it happen. Girl, the only thing that's going to change it is if you get up off your butt and you make it happen yourself. Get up and take a stand for what you want in this life. If you want something to be different, work for it. Literally, change will happen regardless. Make it for your benefit. Make it for the benefit of your family. Make it something that you want. And then when those bad things happen, when those things that are completely surprise, complete surprises, those things that really like shake you to your core, you're like, Oh, what do I do with this? You know, you know, like, okay, well, I can do that because I know where I want to be instead of just you blindly. So many people want to play the defense in life. Like, okay, we're just going to sit back here, minding our own business. And then when life throws something at us, then we're going to take action. Then we're going to do this. Then we're going to take the next step in our life. Then we're going to make our dreams happen. So you sticking back here waiting on somebody to come at you, something to come at you. You're waiting and waiting and waiting until someone's trying to score and the whole time the game is on the other end of the court. And you're like, just hanging out here in no man's land, living your best life, being comfortable because nothing's coming at you. And then the something comes at you and you're like, whoo, I don't know what to do, I'm just gonna sit here. We are so stuck playing the defense in our life that we're just here, you know, stopping people from, from scoring on us, that we're not willing to take one step onto the court. We're not willing to take the next step towards center line. We're not willing to go all the way down to the other end to score our basket, the thing that we want. We're not willing to take offense because we have no control of it. Yet, we can stand in defense. We can stand at the other end of the court just waiting instead of rushing down at the dreams that we have, at the goals that we have, making things happen. You can't score a goal. You can't <laughs> score a goal. You can't score a basket if you don't even freaking take the first step. It's not going to happen. There's no way that that's ever going to happen if you're not willing to take the first step. So stop playing defense in your life. This is a time that you get to be brave and that you get to take control of the change. You get to say, okay, today, this is my, my goal is to lose 20 pounds. What am I going to do today, right now? What's that very first step I have to take? To get me there. Okay, I want to pay off all my, I want to pay off my vehicle loan. Okay, what is the very first step I have to take today to get me there? What do I have to do right now to get me to the next step, the, the next thing that I want to happen? Instead, you're letting fear control you. You're letting your emotions, you're letting that defensive edge stop you from reaching your goals. You're letting Fear stop you from becoming the person you want to be. Instead, you're sitting back wishing, wishing and hoping and waiting for something to happen. You have to make it happen. You are the one that gets to be in control of your life. Yes, 
Change is happening regardless. And if you want, you can keep sitting, waiting, wishing, praying, or you can take one step and get closer to your goal. And then you can take the next step and get closer to your goal. You have to stop looking at change as if it's a bad thing. Heck no, change is amazing. I don't know if you guys have kids. I have three kids. And I see them change every single day. Every single day they're a day older. Every single day they learn something new. And every single day it's so bittersweet and amazing to watch them go through the next step of their life. Whether it's graduating from Head Start or whether it's going into kindergarten or whether it's, I don't know what experience this could be, taking their first step, rolling over for the first time, trying food for the first time. I don't know. Like, those moments are something to celebrate. Those moments are so exciting. We wait and we wait and we wait until our kids walking and crawling and riding a bike and running and, and winning their first football game. Like, we wait for these huge things and we're so excited for them to change. We're so excited for them to see, you know, what they can accomplish in life. Why aren't we looking at ourselves like that? Why aren't we looking at us at, okay, girl, like, what can you accomplish? What is your goal? What are you pushing for? What step are you doing today? Oh my gosh, there's a spider web. What are you doing today to get you to that next step, that next thing? Why are we not celebrating our growth, but we love and we we wait for that for our children? We literally celebrate their whole 18 plus years. We are willing to brag and push and cheer them on, but we won't take the first step for ourselves. You have to learn to embrace the change. You have to learn to be okay with whatever life throws at you. No, it's not all going to be good. No, it's not all going to be bad. But our attitude and our mindset around the change, that is what's going to change everything. That is what's going to change how you look at your life. That's what's going to get you from where you are now to the goal that you want to be at. If you want something to change, you have to be willing to take the first step. And I, I think that's, especially in my line of business, that is the scariest part for so many people. Because what if life changes and it doesn't go the way we want it to? That was a real question. What if life changes and it doesn't go the way we want it to? Friend, you're always going to stumble. There's always going to be speed bumps. There's always going to be obstacles, things that get in the way. Of course, something's going to change and you're not going to like that change. It's what you do with that change that you dislike that really matters. It's what you do with the bad things that are thrown at you that will get you into the next step of the person you are supposed to be. The change doesn't have to be bad because change will teach you so many things, not only about life, not only about building these new experiences, but about you. It will teach you about what you can handle. It will teach you about what you are made for. It will teach you about what makes you happy. It will teach you about who you are meant to be. And I can tell you one thing, you are strong and you are powerful and you're amazing. And I know you can get through the change if you're willing to face it. And that is, that's, that's a kicker. We have to be willing to face the change to get the life we want. But instead, you're comfortable sitting at this end of the court or everybody's down there playing. You're comfortable not doing anything. You're comfortable living this life that you have right now. But I want to ask you, do you love this life that you have right now? And I don't mean just the material things. I personally don't care about the material things. I want to ask you, do you love your marriage or your relationship? Do you love the way you act towards your kids? Do you love the time you get to spend with the people you love? Do you love your job? Do you love your house? Do you love your debt? Do you love all these things that you can change and insert whatever change you need here, that's okay. Those are just examples. Do you love this life that you have right now? Are you wishing that you had something different? Because if you want something different, you have to be willing to take the first step into change. So this is my first IG live. Oh my gosh, that was scary, but I'm so excited to share this with you. And I hope that you got walk, are walking away with some sort of value, some sort of insights, maybe just like some fire, some love, because that's what I want to bring you. I'm just a stay-at-home mama. 
my journey started when I was struggling with postpartum and through health and fitness, I was able to get myself out there. But along the way, I found my passion, my passion in helping other people. Was it scary to do that first workout? Hell yes. Was it scary to make friends virtually? Hell yes. Was it scary to decide to run my own business? Oh yeah. Was it scary to decide to do that while trying to raise three kids at home? Most definitely. I told you I'm an introvert. Is it scary putting myself out there on social media? Yes. Is it scary going live on Instagram? Yes. Is it scary putting my dreams and my goals out here for the world to see? Is it, is it scary being vulnerable? Absolutely. But when you lean in to that change and you take that first step, you discover who you are meant to be. And I am meant to be light. I am meant to be a person to show you that you can do this too. And so with these live videos that I plan to be doing a lot of, that's what I hope to bring to you. I hope to bring to you just my heart, what I've learned, just real life lessons. I'm not a professional in any sense, but I do know me and I've learned to embrace me and I've learned to love me. And that's what I want for you. I want you to be able to love you and celebrate you and embrace you. So in these live videos, I'm just gonna share a piece of my journey, something that I learned, something that I've gone through, so that hopefully it shows you that you can too. Hopefully it inspires you to make the next change into your life. Funny how this was the first video. And I have tons of ideas and I'm super excited. So what you can do to help me is if you tuned in, if you love this video, drop me a comment, give me some love, tag a friend who might love this. And I will have, follow me on Instagram, obviously, if you aren't already, um, but tag a friend in the post that I'm gonna make. Shout me out on your stories. Like sharing, sharing is caring, possum pairing, as my son says. If you do follow me, then you know. These Weaver boys, <laughs> they're something else. And I wanna share just my real life. I'm nothing special, I'm nothing crazy. I'm a hot mess mom. <laughs> you're not gonna see me in makeup every single time, probably never. You're not gonna see me all dolled up. I love being outside, hence why I'm sitting out here. I was like, I don't know if I should do this because you're probably gonna hear the wind and it's probably gonna be a hot mess. That's me, that's who I am. And I wanna show you that you can be ordinary and you can be a mess and you could be so out of sorts and you can still make a difference and you can still change the world around you and you still matter. So. Welcome to my IG Live. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for loving me and supporting me. You have no idea how much it means. Until next time, friends. Happy Friday.